Hello, happy holidays, everyone. Woohoo, it's the most wonderful time of the year. I won't sing, that's not what I do, but it is a great time. I had to wear my hat, and oh, it's cricket. Wait, it's all, everything's off. But, anyways, oh, I got my mic on. Oh, and it seems like it's going crazy. Okay, hold on. See, I'm doing this thing called OBS. And if I'm screaming, let me turn this down because it's going red. So that means that I'm like super loud. Okay. So it's not red anymore. Oh gosh, my voice is pretty loud. <laughs> I just, I guess I'm pretty loud. Anyways, if I am crazy loud for you guys, then just do me a favor. I'm on Facebook. Woohoo! I'm on YouTube. Yes, YouTube has always been my friend. And guess what? I started a new one. It's called Twitch. And I found that out from Andy. And the reason why I'm doing that is because in the chat, there's a chat thing going on. Let me see if I got everything's running good here. I'm going to push this down. And it says, that it is running and it's through Restream. I have to get my glasses. So, waiting for a new message. It doesn't look like I could actually type on Restream to you guys, but I have, I don't have Twitch up. So if you guys are a Twitch person, sorry, I'm just learning how to do that, that's today. But what's cool about this chat box that I have is that it's showing the YouTube and the Facebook so I don't have to have all those up and Twitch but I I need to investigate it more to see if I can actually talk to you guys on that so if you're here I would love for you guys to just say hello where are you from this is macro chat live but really what we do is we talk about macro photography close-up photography and today is micro photography. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. We have an amazing critique from one of our Facebook um, guys that are is in the actual Facebook group for this show, and he has a micro image to share with us today. And so, because he is awesome and sent this information to me, I decided to have our equipment on micro photography. So before we get all that fun stuff rolling, I got a whole bunch of goodies set up for you guys. I've got some information on some things that I have that can help you get closer to macro, macros one on one. So that means that if I want to photograph my glasses right here, this is the same size in my sensor as the glasses. And if you don't understand that, when you take your own camera and you try to get up close, you will notice that the actual subject is smaller unless you're using a, micro, a macro lens or you're extending your lens. So anyways, uh, I would love for you guys to Say something, hello, how are ya? I got five watching, so I know you're out there, at least on uh, YouTube. So I said something and it worked. I'm gonna say hello again, because I wanna see, hello, I wanna see if this is working. If it is, it's great. Yes, oh my gosh. I might even drag this over. Oh, actually I have it. If you guys start chatting, I will pull up my chat and people can read it. Well, maybe I will now anyways, because I want you guys to see how cool this is. Let's see if it works. Got to get glasses because I'm blind. I put my contacts in today. So let's go ahead and see if that pulls up. And let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's me. It's oh, and it's kind of like squished, as you could see. Hey, good to see. Hi, Catherine. Oh my gosh. Ha nice to see you. So happy to see you. Yes, Catherine is one of, she is hanging out with me, and I will share what we do. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you so much for showing up, Catherine. And yeah, this is actually delayed, so we've got a probably 30 second to one minute sometimes delay 
on the show. So if I don't get to something, I apologize. I, you know, I may have missed it, but it's a baby show. We're on number 11. So that's really cool. Um, I've done this 11 times, <laughs> but I love macro photography and landscape. And I, I have to just do really quick backstories. The reason why I did this is because there's not as much out there when it comes to macro photography. So I wanted to have a show specifically for close up photography for people that like all types of photography. So it's photography that flowers, it's bugs, it's a product, anything that you want to get up close with. That's what we share here. Catherine, I want to ask you a quick question. Uh, Am I too loud if, you know, just let me know a yes or a no, because from what I'm seeing here, I've turned down my mic that's sitting right here, so I should be okay. But if so far only YouTube has been out there, so if you are on Twitch or on Facebook and you're watching, I would love for you just to add a chat, say hello, something, because I'm starting this new thing that's over here, right here. And it is helping me with the chat so I can see what's going on and I don't have to be on all of the, you know, Facebook and all that stuff. So, okay, so let's go ahead real quick. I want to share with you. Oh, hey, Andy's here, the explorographer. Yes. Oh, thanks, Andy. <laughs> he, okay, you guys have heard me before. Oh, good. Okay, so Catherine sounds, it says sounds good. Okay, good. I appreciate you guys letting me know how I sound. Um, if it wasn't for Andy, to tell you the truth, I would never be having this show because there's, there's so much technical stuff behind the scenes. See, Andy, I just got this chat thing going, and that's the restream. Only YouTube has chatted, but I have uh, Facebook and Twitch also on there. And I'm hoping at least Facebook. I know there's a couple people that I that hang out with me on Facebook. So I'm hoping they will chat also. But we have some really cool stuff to share. So I want to get going. This show is every other Thursday. And we are at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will most likely, my brother-in-law is coming in in two weeks and he comes in on the 20th. So the show would be, <laughs> the show will be actually probably, I'm about 90% canceled just because my brother-in-law is coming over. We don't see him very often. Hey, Jerry just arrived too. Yay. I seen, I see you chatted on YouTube on, oh, see, there is a little bit of delay. So Jerry said, hello. Thanks, Jerry, for coming. And now I see her on Restream. So it's not that much of a delay, at least for me, seeing what YouTube did. It's like all these little bounces. But um, anyways, I just wanted to let you know that I do have the show every other Thursday. But because of the holidays, uh, I'm, I'm probably going to cancel it because I want to be with my brother-in-law. We don't get to see him very often. So he will be out and we will do, be doing Christmas cheer. So I had to wear my hat for you guys because I probably, it's the holidays, right? Uh, if you're interested and want to submit your images to the critique or ask questions, join our Facebook group. It's Facebook Group's Macro Live Chat. And that's where you're going to see a little bit of our Facebook group because I want to share the awesome micro image that we're going to have today on the show. So if you're not a Facebook person, then no worries. You can go to our um, website to get oh, to know us one. in more Listen detail. To this. Check out SullivanJPhotography.com. And while you're at it, sign up for challenges, deep dive photography information, and free textures by just filling out your email and your name and pushing that grab your first challenge. If you'd like to even dive deeper into your photography and really elevate it, check out membership.sullivanjphotography.com. This is a membership that's only $29 a month, and we give you everything that's needed to really push your macro and landscape photography. Hope to see you there.
I pushed the wrong button, you guys. <laughs> it's live. So I just made that video and I was going to transition into what I do and the websites you could check out uh, to learn a little bit more about me and what and my membership site. <laughs> but I, I was actually going to go to this over here. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, Andy, do I get an F? <laughs> so if you're not into Facebook, then go to Sullivan J Photography Macro Live is here. And that is where you can also submit your images for critique or ask questions. So I always want to get that out. If you, this is such a new show, I would love for you guys to share this with your friends. Maybe there'll be somebody else that's interested in macro photography or learning about close-up work. I would love to get the chat going here. So it would be nice if you guys could share this for sure. And at the end of the show, if you love this show or liked it, um, give me a thumbs up. Uh, it lets me know who's around and if things are positive or if I need to fix something because I'm so new to this. So uh, I will definitely fix things if possible. But I have a blast and I really do enjoy w talking about close-up work. So we will start the equipment section now. Yes, I had to share my intro. I actually need to fix that intro. I was doing my best to fix a couple things on the the OBS, but that one I didn't get a chance to. So I'm sorry, I didn't get a chance to do that. But let's show you real quick. I'm gonna go to this camera over here so you can see. Hello, you can see my water. There's my website. Oh, it's a little orangey in the background, huh? Okay, so let's talk about we are going to talk about micro. I hit my um, I hit my actual <laughs> the the camera's going back and forth because I hit my table. But we're going to talk about we are going to talk about micro photography. But right now, what I want to do is share with you not micro, and I'm not talking micro as a micro lens as Nikon. I'm talking about microscope photography and it's really cool. Wait till I show you some of the stuff. But before I wanted to really dive into that, I did want to share with you something really quick that I have. And this right here, I'll share with you on the internet too. It is a, an adapter and I will get that. Let me go to over here. So this, I want to make sure that I'm saying this correctly. This right here, let's see if you could see it. It's a male to male adapter. And I'm gonna share with you how to use it. It's only like under 10 bucks. But this is a cheapy one. I have to admit that when I do this, what I'm gonna share with you right now, I have a hard time getting my lens off. Sometimes I need Kevin to do it for me because it's so tight. But let me explain to you. So right now you're seeing my 100 millimeter macro lens, okay? And what I'm gonna do is take this 50 millimeter right here, 1.4, and I'm gonna reverse it onto my lens. And what it will do, it will give us, I believe it's three to one or even four to one, that's way closer than the actual subject. And all you do is you take this, let me make sure, and I'm gonna, Hopefully I don't need to put my glasses on because I know I have a bad glare in my, my glasses. So I just screwed it in to the front of the lens. And then what I'm gonna do, let me just take, I'm gonna take the back part out. But what I'm going to put in, on that adapter is I'm reversing the lens, okay? So now I'm going to screw this in I gotta bring it down because I don't wanna mess up my lenses. So I'm just screwing this into my 100 millimeter macro. And now I have my macro lens, which is one to one, reversed 50 millimeter lens to get me even closer to the subject. So, see how it looks? 
pretty cool. But with that said, there's no way you're going to hand hold these photographs. Uh, you, there's such shallow depth of field that you really do need to set it on a tripod. And I'm going to show you some other stuff here on the internet on ways that you can maneuver to focus and really get the images that you need throughout your subject. So what we're going to do is stack those images. I'm going to take a picture, make sure that's in focus, and just keep going till the end, say from the foreground to the background, and you're going to merge them all together. And I wanted to explain this because the image that we have today had to have been stacked. So I just wanted you to understand this basic, which this is only three to one, and we're going to even look even deeper into a microscope. So that is a real cool tool to have. Let me share it with you now. Oh, I almost put the front. <laughs> That's not bad. Put the back. <laughs> All right. So let me go on <laughs> and share with you guys over here to the right. So you can see what I'm talking about. Let's go. There we go. Um, so let's go over here. So this is what I was talking about. Should we put my screen on? Let me look at this. Let's see if I can put my camera on. How's that? There I am. A little one, a little me. So here, here is the, oh, let's see. Oh, it says, oh, wait, I'm looking. Sorry, I'm looking over here. It says I'm now on Twitch waiting for a commercial. So Twitch is jumping in. Oh, that, look at that. That is so funny. Oh, you guys can't see it. I'm going to share with you, Twitch has, and i got to figure out, somebody's already spamming. <laughs> Something about a pot holder. I'll, I'll share that with you guys. This is hilarious. And I'm not on Twitch to get rid of it, but I will share it with you guys. Anyways, I got distracted. I can't help but I do that. Okay, let's get back to this subject right here. So this is, this is what it is. Uh, my, I'm a 58 millimeter, so you really do have to pay attention to your uh, camera and you know, to make sure you have the right mount to go on it. So just make sure you're getting it to whatever you need. But it's really cheap and it does work really well. So this is what it brings me to equipment. That's like I said, just three to one. That's like, it's still tough to do. So don't get me wrong because it, it really is crazy. But we're going to talk about, let's see, this right here. Okay, I wanna show you this. This is really cool. So this is actually a Nikon lens that I believe, let me see if I have this photograph here. It see, these are the lenses in here. But what's really cool is, let me get off of that one. This is how it's set up. See how that, See, here's the camera, then uh, you could either put it on a lens or you could put it on an extension tube or anything like that. But here's, see how it looks right in here? That's, that's what, how to do this. But um, I wanted you, let's get rid of this, to see this a little bit more. So these run about $250. And am I in the way? Oh, let me, let me get off of me so you guys don't. I don't want you to be able to, for me to be in the way. So here it is right here. See how cool that is? And you get 10 times. Well, when we're getting this close to your subject, you're really, micro photography is going 20 to one, people. This is like so amazing to me. I just think it's awesome. And again, this is how you set it up. And yes, you will need to have something like this, like a, this is what I have. This is a manual focusing rack or, you know, rail. And I'll just share with you, that's what I have. Well, I don't do micro photography. So I have done micro photography, but I've done it in a college with an actual um, microscope. 
And so that's what gets me excited when I see other photographers doing that because I remember the feeling of getting the shots. But back in those days, I won't say how old I am. <laughs> There was uh, there there wasn't capability to be able to print, so I got out of it really quick. But nowadays you can really get into it, like you see. But this right here, um, the stack shot, this is electrical. So when you're getting into this kind of photography, let me put me back on. No, I don't. You can see all this. So when you're getting into this photography. It is, um, you know, you, you can do it manually if you want, but yet it really, by this time you're getting in 20 to 1, it's just such small little steps to make sure everything's in focus. To have something that's electrical like this is pretty cool, and you can adjust it. I've read up about this and I've been always tempted to do this, to tell you the truth, um, but I have uh, not done it yet. So that is something that is really cool. And let's see, yes, so the, that's something that this person that we're going to share in a second used. But before I get into the critique, I just want to go into here. We will, I'm na, na, na. where are we gonna do, front camera? Hi. <laughs> Andy, I will buy that thing. I, I might buy it for Christmas. There's a little button I can push so I don't have to look at everything. So um, I want to see. If, see, here we go. So here's here we go. No spamming. Oh, oh, this is AD. <laughs> I thought it was a spammer. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay, so what I noticed is, let me get on here. I can't drag this, which is really, that's kind of a bummer. Because I want to see more. I don't know if you guys could see it. It doesn't, it, it doesn't, this little doodad that's on the side over here. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, so Andy, I'm now watching on Twitch. Wait for a commercial. Waiting for a commercial. Really? Oh, I didn't know that it did that. So Twitch does a commercial before you get onto the live show, huh? Um, what is this? Andy says, get a silicon pot holder and put it in the bag, in your bag. Put the pot holder on your hand and use the flat of your hand to turn the adapter. Oh, and it will come right off. <laughs> okay. So to heat it up. So what he's saying is, thank you, Andy. <laughs> I thought you were a spam. So this, when this, oh, wow. That wasn't very cool. I didn't do it in very sharp because I didn't do it in real tight. So what? So it be, so use something warm to get it off. Okay, that sounds good. Great tips. That's really good. Okay, so not spamming. <laughs> okay, okay. So you can find more of that stuff on eBay, much cheaper. Thank you, Andy. Sounds great. Oh, that's awesome. Totally appreciate it. Okay, that was hilarious that I totally thought that he was a spammer. But see, I'm, I'm learning Twitch, so that's why. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is we're, we're going to go into the critique. And I just noticed that one of my friends is on Facebook, but Facebook's not working on the restream, only Twitch and YouTube, so that's interesting because something just popped up from my friend Pam. Thank you, Pam. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over to the right screen so you can see the actual Facebook group. So this is our Facebook group, and it's a baby group, but it's an awesome group. I mean, this is where we talk about what's going on in the live show. So you can come here, and Ashley or myself will let you in. And this is, I want you guys to read or watch, not read, but watch the, the actual video on the Facebook because it, there's things that I need before I'm going to critique your image. And that helps you understand what I'm looking for. Oh, see, she just, she likes it. See, Pam, thank you. <laughs> awesome. 
So she is amazing. She's such a great supporter. So David, David, enter, he submitted a lot of great images, but David's going to have to come back with me uh, to me and give me the information that I asked in order to get it on the show. So David, we'll have you next time on the show. So please submit that, that info that I had asked. Um, and then what we're going to do right now is we're going to go to, here's this, see, here's Kim's image that was on the last show. And here we are. <gasps> Isn't this cool? Okay, so I don't know how to say his name. I feel horrible. Let's just click on the image so you can see it better. We are going to dive into the critique, and I'm not even going to do my little critique intro. <laughs> You know I like my intros, right? Oh, okay, so let's go ahead and I am really sorry that I will probably butcher your name because I am horrible with names as it is. So he's from Vietnam and let's give you his information, okay? So he used, this right here is called he gives it the actual name. So he's really into bugs. Kudos to you. But I was like, what is that? Because I don't really, I mean, I love bugs and everything, but I don't know their real names. So I looked it up. It's a rice weevil. And let me share with you how small this baby is. Okay, so here's the rice weevil. Now, this guy is on a piece of rice. Look at, look at, they're on rice. That's how small they are. They're teeny. Oh my gosh, they are so small. When I saw this, I'm like, holy, look at, here they are. These are little rice, this is rice, and these are all the weevils. And it says that it's, it's a pest for grain, which I'm like, oh, you know, we all live in this world, right? It's a, it's a round world here. It's, we all have our meanings. So these little guys are there. They might be pests, but they're there for a reason. <laughs> so I just wanted you to, sh to see that this is how small these are. And that's still getting up close. This is macro. But he has gone ahead and used his ADD Canon. He used that lens that I shared with you. And he used an extension tube. So it's magnified 18 times. His he used 100 and 160th of ISO. So he stacked 40 times uh, to get what's in focus. So that's taking a picture, putting it together. You know, like I told you guys earlier, he used a flash speed light and diffuser tunnel, and it was a DIY. So he most people when they start getting into this type of photography will make their own. So he probably made this on his own. And then he used a program called Zareen Stacker. And again, he's from Vietnam. So I had asked him, well, what was your reasoning? Because I always want to know why, what, what is the story here? What is the reason why you took this photograph? What was your compelling issue that you like, I really need to say this statement. This is what's important to me. And I laughed when I heard what he said. I thought it was so funny. I was like, this is great. Okay, so let's just go in here. Uh, and this is what he says. I took it because I love it and relaxing and and relaxing after working. So I thought that was great because what he does is he probably works his buns off and then he just wants to see things up close and it's relaxing for him to take micro photographs. So I thought, you know what? Okay, you just want to you just want to do this because you want to see everything up close. I used to love looking at my microscope when I was little kids at a stage and you took this photograph because it relaxes you. But I'm actually going to even give you a little bit more information on what I feel that can push you into stacking your images. So hey, kudos to you that you want to relax and chill and you want to take the photograph, but you went ahead and gave it to me for a critique which is cool. I'm only going to give you a couple little suggestions. 
And to do that, what I want to do is I want to go into, uh, I want to do, okay, we're going to go and push up Lightroom so you can see, let's see, there we go. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom. I, when I first saw it, I was just like, again, I really totally love that you're getting up this close. And to do this is super crazy difficult. So kudos to you to relax, to do something that is so time consuming <laughs> and very intense to do. Zareen Stacker is another beast to learn about and I will talk about Zareen Stacker on a different show but basically it is a program where you can merge all of your images together and even though when you merge them all together there can be issues that you might have to fix so that's why I want to do it on a different show this is only less than an hour show so I just want to get into his image here so I unfortunately what happened was I asked him I said, hey, can I get a high-res image of this? And he, he said, yeah, and he gave me the link. So what you're seeing here is actually a very small file size. So I'm not sure, to tell you the truth, how much is really in focus and how much isn't. This actually is a screenshot that I took from Facebook. So... He could have more in focus, but we're going to look at it anyways. Let me get my pen. Let me see if I, let me see if you could see me, if I'm in the way. If I'm in the way, I don't like to, to you, there's a little me. <laughs> then I'll move me out. But when I, I, I wanted to see it up close. So I got up close and this is really cool. Let's show you. It looks like to me, like I said, this is a really low resolution file. It looks like you did get the eyes in focus and that's one of the things that I would for sure suggest for So we as humans are gonna to totally want to see your eyes, you know, the eyes. I mean, that's just natural. Now this right here, if you were with me live, it looks like it might have when I stack, I get stuff like this, and that means that the stack didn't complete, so some of this stuff was still blurry. I mean, it could be water because I don't know for sure. So my suggestion is, or I would ask, is this part of the body, or was this, is this water? Who knows what it is? Um, if it was part of the stack, then yeah, you would have to add, this looks like it's higher than the rest of the bug so you might have missed it. So when you're stacking and you ask for a critique, a critique then yes, um, make sure everything is totally in focus and I know that it's difficult. He says he only had 40 stacks, which actually was really surprising to me because when you get 20 to one or even 18 to one or 15 to one. I mean, you need a lot of stacks to get everything in focus. There's no two ways about it. I have a feeling this was probably most of the time when you're doing stuff like this, the insects or the bugs and all that stuff are pretty much dead um, because it's so much work to do this. So my next question would be to you is the background. Now, did you, I would ask, did you place that background or most of the time you would have that set up in the actual, um, oh, I had, an, I had an example for you and I don't know if, I'm, I'm going to see if I can try to find it, but I had a lighting example for you. So maybe I can look up that lighting example after we're done with this because I did this in post, but I feel like this is great and everything, but the background to me, because we're talking critique, is a little flat. So we'll go to the develop module, and the only thing that I can suggest to you, because this is already in post, but it would be good for you to play with it while you're having your setup, wherever you're doing this, is to play with the background so you have more depth. Some areas will be darker, some will be lighter, 
I thought it would just be nice and I'll just do real quick. I'm using over here the gradient and I actually would think it would look better a little bit darker but maybe adding a little bit more green so it stays together and then maybe pulling up the same thing over here just to give you some depth in the image and remember I if you're you might not have seen the other show when you do this stuff here in Adobe Lightroom then what you could do is you'll click on the the, the brush and because I have a horrible monitor size because of Facebook, <laughs> what I want to do is I want to go to the erase tool. That's why I'm dragging it all the way down. And be, check auto mask now because you have this green that's not even in your image. And then just start erasing everything you did because you don't want your subject to be dark. This is just talking about the background. So let's we'll just erase it really quick just get rid of all that and so this is uh, that was just a rough but look at I just want to share with you we'll go over here and we'll reset it so this is yours oh and see the background sorry that was I actually that's the not his that was mine I did a screen capture so that's why it's all has that black line so that's me not him so here is mine that has a little depth. You could see that it's brighter in the middle and a little dark. It just gives you a little bit more 3D and it's not as flat as um, just having one color in the background. So I would suggest that you start doing that. And I mean, this is cool. I really love it. You've done a great job. I would have truthfully loved to have seen your... Uh, file your original you know like high resolution JPEG to see how in focus you've got this but I mean it's a great job oh my gosh to see how small this thing is and for you to be patient to get all that that's really cool very good and that's all I really have is just to stack a little bit more and to if it's blurry and then to play with your background so let me see real quick I want to see if it's in here. Oh, I don't think so. Um, let me go to micro. Micro photography. I want to see if I can find this setup. I thought it was so cool. And we'll go to images. And I thought it would be a great idea for you. Ah, I know. You know what it is? It was your lens, the Nikon. There we go. It was on that because I wanted to show that lens and I think it's set up in here. Let me look real quick because I saw it and I thought about you and I thought, oh my gosh, this would be such a cool setup for him. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, since I don't see it now, I'm going to put it in the Facebook group, but basically the photographer had a great setup where he had two lights and he totally... Uh, made it very soft lighting and he manipulated the background and I don't see it I apologize I thought I had it open for you to show you but it's a great way to play with lighting in a small teeny little environment so I will put that in the Facebook group for you for sure because I think this is something that will really totally see how this background is how it gives it some, dim some dimension this is what I'm talking about just step you out of the box and play uh, with your colors and your lighting but that let's go on to let's see all right yeah so I think that is um, I think that will totally help you and again I didn't say your name because I didn't want to butcher it I felt horrible <laughs> No, I can't do that. So I switched I switched another screen. But that pretty much is it when it comes to micro. Of course, if you guys want to um, you know hang out in the Facebook group and ask more questions about micro photography or get your images for critique, I usually have two or three. But today was just mostly about micro sharing that information with you, how cool it is to be able to see 
so close to those images. This show is for micro, macro, and close-up photography, all kinds of stuff. So definitely bring your stuff in, chat in the chat room, share this with your friends, do a like, because it would be so great to get macro photographers together and really chat about what we love to do. And it is a difficult thing, especially when you see that micro stuff that's going on. Photographing, making your own creations, creating art out of it, because you want to step out of the box and make it pleasing to attract people because that's why you're doing it, because you love it. And let's share it to the world. It, a thousand words does make a difference. I really hope to see you guys in a, it'll be four weeks and I apologize. I will, after this show's done, I will put the date in and I will make sure that we were on, but it's happy holidays to everyone and my hat's cricket. <laughs> we're going to have a nice holiday uh, party with my brother-in-law coming out, so I will miss the next show. But I will be back in 2018. Is that crazy? Unless it, unless it falls. I haven't looked in December. I mean, it might fall two weeks after that. So I don't know. But after you know, after the show, I always set the new date. Go to YouTube. Go ahead and push on, you know, save your time. And then you'll get a little email information saying, hey, I'm on or it's about to come on. And, um, you know. Get the party started with macro photography. All right, if you um, have no other questions, I will hang out in the chat for a little bit after the show and uh, happy holidays to you guys. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>